not so fast. Just across the border, President George W. Bush is reelected. The President of the United States and America. They said, um, you know, that you are responsible for Bush's reelection because he made his whole campaign about anti-equal marriage and if you hadn't shaken up this whole thing, you know, it wouldn't have happened. Suddenly, the anti-same-sex marriage movement in Canada comes alive. I believe we have to say no to this. If Christians have never risen up before in this country, and they haven't often enough, they must do so now. U.S. money is being pumped into the country, into ads and campaigns, in a last-ditch effort to reverse same-sex marriage in Canada. As Prime Minister, we'll maintain the traditional definition of marriage, the union of one man. This must be worldwide. Everybody knows that what happened to Denmark, their crime rate is increased tenfold. Do you want to destroy your own children? And watch, God will punish us with tsunami, guys. Married. I'm gonna get married to my girlfriend. We are queer. I love her. I love her. We're friends. The forces opposing same-sex marriage are suddenly formidable. And with American financing, it looks like they could win. The decision will go before Canada's parliament for a final vote. A massive rally descends on Ottawa. To legalize prostitution, to legalize marijuana, and to redefine marriage. Our values are the real Canadian values. Is this the end of the new Canadian dream? Why did you choose Canada for your marriage? Um, because it's really the only place you can. You know, it's, it's not a domestic partnership and it's not a civil union and it's not any of that separate but equal stuff, but it's like equality. You know, it's something that you never ever in your lifetime thought you'd see. And it, we're getting married, you know? And I thank God that President Bush has stated. We need a constitutional amendment that states that marriage is between a man and a woman. I'm trying to find a correct name for it this utter, absolute, asinine, idiotic stupidity of men marrying men. I solemnly declare, I solemnly declare, that I do not know, that I do not know, of any lawful impediment, that of any lawful impediment. I've never seen a man in my life I want to marry. <laughs> My eyes may not be joined in matrimony to Christine Jeanette Ford. And I'm going to be blunt and plain. If one ever looks at me like that, I'm going to kill him and tell God he died. I call on these present to witness that I, to witness that I, Christine Jeanette Ford, Christine Jeanette Ford, Alexandra Leticia Fernandez, Alexandra Leticia Fernandez, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. In case that anybody doesn't know, God calls it an abomination. To have it all back. It's an abomination. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. It's an abomination. From this day forward, from this day forward.
June 28th, just a few weeks after the massive rally against same-sex marriage, the Canadian Parliament makes history. It passes a vote legalizing same-sex marriage across the entire country. There was not a single protester. Massachusetts legalizes gay marriage for residents only, partly based on the precedent of the marriage of the Michaels in Toronto. Today is a wonderful day. Um, it's a wonderful day because for the first time, same-sex couples are being married um, in our own land. Today is a great day for America, but you know, Canada opened the doors really for today. This is absolutely wrong. It's absurd. It's, it's diabolical. This was the, the gown that we wore on our wedding day almost three years ago. She's pregnant. If your mother would have been with another woman, you would have not been here. What's that? If your mother would have been... Oh, I don't know. Another... Can I give you a hug, sir? You know what he's saying? He's saying, can I F you in the rear later? But he's not using those you exact words. You cannot do that. You, but you know what? do that. So I say, still on this very day from Boston, I say, here's to Canada. Almost two years after the Michael's wedding, Canada has its first gay divorce. Gay marriage is here to stay. Even though the AWOL American soldiers have so far failed to gain refugee status in Canada, they've decided to stay anyways. Of course, they still have to learn the language. First time I heard the word A was, welcome to Canada, eh? Yeah, <laughs> same, same here. That's that's here. That was the first you can't first say time. welcome to no, Canada no, without no, A. No, no, the one I heard first was, uh, how do you like the cold weather, eh? Yeah, yeah you want to go to the bar, eh? You know the drinking age is 19, eh? Telling someone something and asking their opinion. Yeah. Yeah. A. Right? A. A. I ain't heard the aboot yet. I fought the law and I won. Five times. I don't know how many people have done that, but like, and I'm telling you, victory tastes sweet. I may go get arrested again. The kind has been shut down, and the owners and staff face trafficking charges. The Prince of Pot's days of youthful rebellion may be over. And in a statement says that the only thing that can save him from life in prison in the United States is Canada. Even though Canada's top marijuana activists have been arrested, marijuana cafes and compassion clubs are now open from coast to coast. For a country that doesn't always know what it stands for, for many Canadians, Canada's compassion for Americans, nation's rational acceptance of gay marriage and marijuana are a source of national pride. For better or for worse, Canada has chosen its own destiny. This is freedom, Canadian style.